So a recent paper published in JAMA Cardiology is warning that these cuffless devices can be dangerously misleading for blood pressure. They say that unless a device is clinically validated, like our a &D medical blood pressure monitors, then they shouldn't be used for treatment or diagnostic decisions. And to put it plainly, these wearable devices haven't been properly validated to be on the VDL list. And until they are, they're definitely doing more harm than any good. So here's what we're gonna do in this experiment video. I'm gonna take my blood pressure properly using the AD Medical Precision Check Pro device in my hand, which is on the VDL list and we know is accurate. Then I'm gonna take my blood pressure using a smartwatch and I'm gonna take my blood pressure using a smart ring and see just how inaccurate or accurate the readings are. So step number one, here's our AD medical blood pressure monitor. It uses oscillometric technology, which is the current gold standard for automated blood pressure monitoring. Oscillometric technology basically works by inflating the cuff and then deflating. It detects tiny vibrations in your artery as the blood flows. These vibrations are called oscillations and are analyzed by the device then estimate your systolic and diastolic blood pressure. It's the gold standard for automated blood pressure readings. It's clinically proven and highly reliable. Now for all the readings I've taken today i followed all the correct procedures whether it's the AMD medical blood pressure monitor i'm using or the smart watch or the smart ring i followed all the instructions to do it correctly and here is my blood pressure reading using the AMD medical precision check pro device as you can see i've got a systolic of 105 and a diastolic of 68 i really hope you can see that so from now on that's going to be our baseline for the experiment step number two now for the smartwatch it uses a sensor underneath the wrist basically and this is meant to estimate your blood pressure without an inflatable cuff so without the oscillation and we can see from the video when i did it my blood pressure was 128 over 77 according to the smartwatch however my actual blood pressure is 105 over 68 so this has massively overestimated my blood pressure so i guess if this was used for diagnostic purposes and my blood pressure was higher it's, it's basically showing almost 20 millimeters of mercury more on my systolic actually more than that now obviously i have a quite a low blood pressure so if you're someone that has a bit of a higher blood pressure, it's going to show way higher. So it could put you at risk of an incorrect hypertension diagnosis and potentially getting started on treatment. So these things are not accurate. So step three, the smart ring. It works with the same idea. So it uses optical sensors. And you can see hopefully from the experiment, my blood pressure that it gave was 117 over 67 and a pulse, a very low pulse of 40. That is a very, very low pulse, which is incorrect because my pulse is always about 85. So firstly, the pulse is massively incorrect and dangerously low and my blood pressure my actual blood pressure using the AD medical pressure monitor was 105 over 68 that is my usual blood pressure and this is obviously overestimated my blood pressure so again not accurate so i guess the next question is why are these smart watches and these smart rings so inaccurate at giving blood pressure readings and it all basically comes down to oscillometric technology which the AD medical blood pressure monitors use this is basically the gold standard where the cuff inflates around your arm and it detects tiny vibrations in your artery to then calculate your blood pressure but the cuffless devices like the smart watch like the smart ring they don't use this oscillometric technology. They rely on things like pulse transit time, light sensors, or blood volume changes. And each company uses different algorithms to then try and calculate blood pressure. But as you've seen, it is not accurate at all. Now, the risk is that if your blood pressure is actually high and the smartwatch or the smart ring is underestimating blood pressure, well, that's dangerous because your blood pressure is high and it's uncontrolled. Or the opposite, that your blood pressure is actually on the lower side or it's normal and the smartwatch or smart ring is overestimating your blood pressure. So that inaccuracy has its own risks associated with it. At AMD Medical, we were the inventors of the digital home blood pressure monitor in 1977. So we know a thing or two about accurate readings. Our AMD Medical blood pressure monitors are on the validated device list known as VDL for short. And by the way, many of the blood pressure monitors that you can buy on Amazon are not on the VDL list and therefore they are not accurate. Now, I really hope this information was helpful in this video. I've really enjoyed doing this experiment experiment i hope you also found it helpful please do share it with anyone you know that might be wearing a smart watch or a smart ring to take their blood pressure and just show them how inaccurate it is also definitely do check out our channel for many more videos on natural ways to lower blood pressure on picking the right cuff size using your blood pressure right we have all the videos on there about blood pressure and cardiovascular health so definitely check it out we also have a live q a hosted by myself every first thursday of the month 8 a.m pst so if you've got any questions, please do come on the live Q&A and drop us a comment. We always get loads of comments on there and we generally answer them there on the spot. And as we always say at the end of every video, AMD Medical, discover precision.